Yeah, let's check in with meteorologist Byron Miranda. Good morning, Byron. Good morning, guys. You know what's crazy? Why? We could see record warm this time next week again. My goodness. Get out. This is crazy. And, and the sixth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no, that's good. <laughs> Dan is not. Dan, what do you think about uh, that? A little cold for the Christmas spirit. I think it just kind of brings out the Christmas. All right. Now, Hazel, when we go down the 20 I didn't below, say that. we're going to take a picture of Dad, right? Yeah. You said just a little. You want to feel like the season, right? Yeah. So uh, I get that. A lot of people do. Well, we're not going to feel that way until Sunday morning. So that'll be good news for you if you want to feel that chill because it'll be Sunday morning. But temperatures are on the rise right now because of winds out of the south. So we're in the upper 30s to the low 40s. We're running about 8 to 10 degrees warmer than we were at this hour yesterday. You will notice that when you step outside. If you're prepared to be dressed like yesterday morning, yeah, probably not. Take a layer off uh, for this morning. Live radar is quiet at this hour. No precipitation right now and no precipitation in the forecast until tomorrow afternoon because high pressure is heading south. It's bringing up warmth from the Gulf of Mexico and that's going to keep us dry today. But as late as say midnight tonight, we could see a little rain store and I'll do that at 645. I'll go hour by hour into your neighborhood with the rain future cast for tomorrow at 645. Story number two, tracking record temps, question mark. Uh, because it's a heavy lift. It's hard to get up to that temperature of 64, 65 degrees at this time of year. What we have right now, what we've been experiencing is, you know, basically the open door to Canada allowing those temperatures that are in the 30s over the tri-state. And that's why we were running very cold yesterday. Not today, though. We're starting to see that abate and we're going to see temperatures in the mid to upper 40s and 50 degrees for the boroughs and close in Jersey. Tomorrow, really what happens is when I show you the warm front, I've showed you this before, I said that means there's warmer air traversing or heading over the tri-state. So while we have cold air in place this morning, this is starting to inch up later this afternoon. And as it does, the temperatures down south, anywhere from 70 to 80 degrees from Atlanta down to Miami, we bring that warm air up and it takes our temperature 10 to 20 degrees above the average. So our average right now is around 45 degrees for the tri-state. We're forecasting, I'm going 65, that's 20 degrees warmer than it should be, all because of warm air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. As we talk, then we look at this and we say, well, wait a second, we're going to get rain tomorrow. That means the front, the warm front goes bye bye. It opens the door to Canada. And then you have temperatures that are in the 30s in Canada. This is Sunday morning. As quickly as we're talking about record warm, we're talking about temperatures that are going to feel like 25 to 32 degrees Sunday morning. So you're going to have to embrace that warmth tomorrow and then you're going to have to prepare for colder temperatures on Sunday. So 52 today, uh, 65 tomorrow and then wind chills uh, Sunday. Not feeling good, but look at next week, Jill. Thursday, we could see record warmth again.